Hey guys, first in this video, I want to show you the 4.4.4 Purity ROM on my Google Nexus 5. So, as you can see, um, I have some annoying bubbles on the screen. Sorry about that. So, let's check out this ROM here. It is the build 4.4.4 KitKat, uh, the latest version of the Android at the moment. We have the Android L developer preview available. I've made a ton of video about that. So, you check out my channel. So, we have the Purity 4.4.4. Uh, update so this ROM uh, came out with the 4.4.2 KitKat and now it's been upgraded to 4.4.4 and it's working very awesomely fine. Personally, I have some problems in document apps app here. It just you know forced closed, but now it's performing very well. I hope uh, it will not give you error on your device. So uh, it has the updated camera app here, same as the or uh, or stock 4.4.4. And you know the experience is the same as the Star 4.4.4, uh, the icons, all kind of stuff. Uh, we have the same uh, KitKat launcher, uh, the Google Now, all this kind of stuff, Wi-Fi and everything. Everything is working. Camera uh, is also working very fine. Uh, one of the few stable and the most awesome, uh, speedy working ROMs out there. So on the notification center, we have these options here, setting brightness and all this kind of stuff here. Uh, also, let's check out the lock screen. So lock screen is like this. Just gotta hold it and slide it. And also on the lock screen, we have uh, this uh, camera shortcut. You just swiping to the left. You will have your camera. And also I have this camera installed. Uh, the latest version of the Google camera for the Nexus 5 with the blur uh, demo, blur uh, feature, all this kind of stuff. So. Let's check out the settings here. So now uh, the settings are the same as the original uh, stock ROM, but we have a uh, special setting for this ROM system, purity system settings. Now here we have ton of setting, ton of customization with the status bar. We have quick setting, notification drawer, power menu, navigation bar, quick launch shortcuts, and lock screen. Now, in status bar, you can change clock and date. You can change the battery indicator. Uh, you know, you can change it from. As you can see, I have some text here. You can hide it if you want. You can uh, have this. Uh, so these some battery themes. Uh, also, we have the network connectivity indicator uh, enabled. You can disable it. Uh, also, there is a there is a f uh, very important feature that I like is double tap to sleep. Now I've enabled this option. All you need to do is double tap the, uh, the status bar, and your device will lock. It's just like uh, a feature like uh, you get on the LG G2. Uh, so moving on to the next one, we have the quick settings where you can customize these top setting here. Uh, also, you know, it's just the quick setting here. You can customize it. Uh, from there in the settings, screen timeout mode, all kind of stuff. Uh, in notification drawer, you have uh, these options auto close behavior, heads up, and moving on to the power menu. Now, power menu is uh, you know a big shortcut. Uh, so, as you can see, I have reboot menu, screenshot, airplane mode, and sound panel ticked. So, when I press the uh, press and hold the power button, it will show me these options, so which uh, comes in very handy. You don't have to hold power uh, and uh, volume down button to take the screenshot. Just kind of ha hold the power button and click here, so it will take you a screenshot. Let me just show you here, as you can see. So, it's pretty easy. Now, moving on to the quick launch shortcuts here, you can uh, have quick launch shortcuts on the lock screen actually. Uh, Google now. Uh, it's not actually the lock screen at the moment. It's uh, the you know when you swipe from the bottom. Here we have the Google now uh, as the stock shortcut. You can have ton of shortcuts uh, here and there uh, if you want. So moving on to the lock screen option now. Here is uh, where you can put custom widgets and all this kind of stuff. So it's also a very great thing. Uh, also have the show clear all button here. I can click here and it will close everything up. Now uh, I've covered up the system. Now moving on to the display and light. Now it's actually my favorite feature of this ROM. You can actually change the LED color to absolutely any color you want. Uh, as you can see here, we uh, we can also change the screen off animation uh, to fade out to scale down. 
as you can see now it's scaling down uh, which works pretty well also we have the notification light I have set it to the red you can you know set it to any color you want blue light blue also you can enable custom values you can also change the LED color for the missed calls and the voicemail uh, if you don't like the stock one which is the white also you can change the battery light color and we have the volume rocker awake I haven't enabled this option so it come in handy uh, if you have a broken power button so uh, other options are the same as the stock ROM and uh, nothing special there so uh, it's a very interesting very good purity 4.4.4 ROM for the Google Nexus 5 hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do then please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next video and if you want to know how to install this ROM you can just uh, click on the video in the description I have a full tutorial of how to install this ROM on your Nexus 5 and all the links are posted in that in that video's description so be sure to check out my video of how to install this ROM on the Nexus 5 so yes peace out